All right, so welcome back. That was like such an insightful conversation about the current NSAS protest that's happening in Nigeria with Babatunde Adeola and blogger Yemi Baba. And we thank them so much for coming here to share their story, their experience, and what they think, I mean, the government of Nigeria should be doing right when it comes to that. But on today's session, we have another guest. And as you know, this is still the 2020 Ghana Blogger Summit coming to you live from WhatsApp TV Studios here in Accra. And I have such a wonderful personality. As we said earlier, we have very few female bloggers in the Ghanaian blogging industry. It's very difficult to put together a panel of female bloggers and one of such people that we had to identify and bring to him and share her story is Esther Holali Kube. You're welcome. Thank you, Prince. I mean, you're very smallish in the chair, <laughs> but I mean, your blog is so big. I mean, I, 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 I learned you said, like, many people think you are, you are a guy. Yes, that's the mentality I wanted to create. That's the mentality you wanted to create? Yes, everybody see me as a guy, not a female. Because I learned female, it will be difficult for you to become part of the top mm. 50 or top 100. So I also wanted to project myself <laughs> as a guy at first. And so my dad was like, holali. The name you chose is the best. Mm. Don't behave like a guy. Since you could know what I like to be a guy, no, be a lady. Wow. So, yeah, I decided to now show off that I'm a lady. So, how did you get the news when you made it into the top 50 Whoa. bloggers list? That day, I was so overjoyed. <laughs> I told all my friends, they didn't believe. Wow. It was until the pictures were all over. Oh, wow. They were like, wow. So, seriously, just one year, yeah. I said, yes. All thanks to my best friend, God. Yes. <laughs> wow. I mean, we all have a best friend. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I wanted to find out how did it start for you? How did the blogging? It's been a year so far, but how mm. did you start? Oh, okay. So I'm the type who doesn't like to be idle. So I want to get myself busy. So the best thing to do is to hide behind the internet and then share my yeah. views. So I researched on how to make money online and blogging came and I had worked with, um, I did internship with getshoes.co as a writer for okay. them. So the man taught me one or two things, how to use WordPress to write and what you can get from blogging too. And also through him, I was able to work for some man, two or three months with yen.com. Okay. So after that, I was like, oh, since yen is making money and mm -hmm. these big, big celebrities are also paying bloggers, me too, let me go and tap some. Yeah. So I went to research on how I could start. I said I need a domain, hosting, and checking the price. Oh my God, I didn't have that money. So I want to post it on my status that my loved ones, please do okay. me the favor of helping me with any coins. So, oh, so you did crowdfunding? Yes. So people actually they didn't ask what I was going to use it for, but oh, okay. they sent it. I went to purchase the, the domain cheap name. one in Ghana. In Ghana <laughs> who's that one? They said, 90 cities for three months, yes. I didn't have the money to buy one year, two years. So I bought three months. And then the domain, holali.com, since it's mine, I want to brand myself. Yeah. So I chose holali. So it's holali.com, yes. So I start, I bought everything. So at first, my website was looking shabby, like just anything. Yeah. And so after I hit makers, I was actually for Ovi. So when okay. she, went, she won, she I knew won. she was going to win. <laughs> yes, I told my friend she's winning. So what she wants, she had, I had my first thousand traffic wow. with her story. So I was so grateful. And so that was when a lot of bloggers, I had the class contacting me that, wow, he likes my vim. Am I a girl or a boy? <laughs> like, I'm a boy. <laughs> because later I said that I sent my pic that he got to know I'm a lady. Uh, he was like, okay, you are the first lady blogger. blogging. Yeah. I was like, okay, then he will help me catch up with the guys. And yes. he was like, oh, okay. So it was through the class. Taught me how to use the SEO and everything. Mm. And so, now we are here. Yeah. I mean, part of the top 50 bloggers in Ghana. Yes, I was so surprised. I thought I would be the 50th, but when I saw for two, I was like, ah, <laughs> I'm better. Wow, quite interesting. I mean, so let's say the name for your blog is something that most people uh, find it very difficult. Yeah. Uh, you chose holali.com, and that's your middle name. Yes, please. And you said you really wanted to brand yeah. and put it. How has the experience been? Mm, the name, hmm, a lot of people can't mention it. They yes. always say Zolali. Yes. Some people say, like, well, as time goes, so I, if you mention it, I'll be like, no, it's her. X, 
they were like, why not age? I was like, don't worry, it's ex holali. <laughs> so it's a name my dad gave to me. Mm. Like um she said it's it's uh, those that are hard working mm. fit that name. So yeah, with the name well, I, I'm struggling to actually get more people because of the name. Uh, but as time goes on, it's more small. I mean, little by little. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I think for a year and for you to make it into a league of top bloggers in Ghana, that's quite incredible. Yes. Like, how did you, how did you do it? Oh, okay. I research YouTube is my friend. Wow. So I always go there and I always follow this foreign blogger, Neil Patel. Okay. So I always follow him. He gives tips on how to get traffic, how to outrank your site. So... I took some major sites. I was like, no, this site, I need to be part of them when they are ranking for some words. So I was like, yeah, teenage gossip and the rest. I was like, I'm targeting those people. We <laughs> thought I'll be part of them when they rank. So I took the music aspect, that entertainment too. I know more, I learned most of those entertainment sites don't do SEO. I was like, okay, let me use that SEO to beat them. So I started doing the SEO and I saw, say, yeah. I'll see changes at least. If I'm not on the first, second, third, mm. I'm going on in terms of entertainment here. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, for one year, I mean, it's still a big story that you've been able to transition from just raising funds from your WhatsApp status into creating one of the top blogs in Ghana. Uh, what are some of the challenges that you face? I know, like, the bullying is there, but what are some of the the challenges that you face in making sure your blog is really outstanding and, and fits into like um, a top and classy blog uh, for Ghana? Mm, okay, traffic is my first one thing. I will share, I will join groups, buy airtime to join groups, share. Wow, it was hectic. And you share, you think that so you shared into 1500 groups. By the end of the day, you get 1500 views. Like, views, yeah. I was like, wow. So I kept pushing. I had to now ask my junior brother to help me create more Facebook accounts. So I'll be using those ones to share, but it was very, very tough. And then as I was in Ghana, I wasn't focusing on Ghana traffic. I didn't yeah. want Ghana traffic. Yeah. I wanted the outside one because my site is uh, travel and then entertainment since I read tourism. So I wanted to, whenever I travel, wherever I go, I want to write about the place. Yeah. So it was difficult, and then getting money to always bundle. I have to buy bundle, then empty, and then put out for ah, gee, that's so some maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's it's quite uh, I mean great talking to you. And if you're watching us, this is the 2020 Ghana Blogger Summit, and we are coming to you live from the WhatsApp TV studios and talking to great personalities. And one of them happens to be Esther Holali Kuba, the founder of Holali.com. I mean, before you take leave of us, I, I would like to, to share with us some lessons that you've picked uh, in, in this journey of blogging that at least we as people who want to blog and become like you um, can actually, I mean, use. And if not, to come and surpass you, I mean, to still be pushing you to continue to do more. Okay, so I think hard work and education, and if you, if you have passion, for whatever you are doing, think you move far. And then always, if you're a blogger or you're an upcoming blogger like me, yes, and you want to do more, please research more. And then don't follow the crowd. If you follow the crowd, you will fall. Yes. Because for me, I made my mind say I wasn't going to watch this big, big star. Maybe do write something that is even for just for the traffic. Mm. I wasn't really doing it for the traffic. It's kind of something I want to do to entertain myself and then make money. Yes, so you should have a motive for blogging and you should always be determined and have passion. Yes. I mean, you just have to be determined and have passion for whatever thing you're doing, even if it's beyond blogging. And that's um, the parting words from Holali. And as, as we leave this discussion, we'll be going for another very insightful discussion with three top journalists in Ghana. And we have Nana Banamwa, who is the general manager of GH1 TV. And then we have an international journalist here in Ghana called Ismail Akwe. And we also have veteran broadcaster, Patrice Amegashi. And they are sitting with Efoko Kumauto to discuss the 2020 elections and the influence 
of blogging and journalism. And it's going to be quite an interesting conversation that you guys have to really stay glued to whatever screen that you are watching us from, if it's your phone, from your tablet, or from your TV screens. And as we get back from that conversation, we'll continue uh, from WhatsApp TV Studios. And it's still the 2020 Ghana Blogger Summit. We'll be right back.